perceptions of stakeholders about companies or uh, mayors, local authorities, would influence the way that they trusted. It wasn't enough to explain the whole thing, but it would really work. So that's um, the definition, uh, the presentation, I, thought, I think that it's going to be available, but that's the definition, is a cognitive mechanism used by consumers to reduce the complexity of information. Basically, you, you cannot really calculate every minute the next step to take, so basically you, you just walk, and uh, you try to uh, overcome the associated uncertainties and perceived risks. And we assume that in e-commerce, the act of buying something and putting your money online and expecting that the provider would send you an object, a product, or a service, is the supreme act of faith. Okay. So basically, we try to illustrate this using the theories of trust as a kind of building blocks, like a building that is being built between the organization and, for instance, the customer. There is one thing called the general trust. I'd say it's measured in terms of how much, in a given society, how much people trust each other. And then you have more particular kinds of trust. When you, uh, for instance, you need to make a transaction and the customer needs to trust the shop, or the shop is trusting that the customer will pay. Okay. That's a more individual, private kind of trust. So we have the two phases of the, of the equation. The organizations are, the, in this case, customers. We focused on customers in this, for this analysis. And then you have some specific aspects of trust components. First of all, it's what is called competence. Competence means that uh, if you are selling something, for instance, this notebook, that the, if you get the money, you will get the notebook. That means that the transaction is well performed, well done. Okay? There is also a stream of trust related with knowledge. You need to know details. So there is, I would say, some supply side knowledge and demand side. If you're a customer, you want to know the product characteristics, price, color, uh, conditions of delivery, for instance. And there are some more, two other more, I would say, soft sites of trust, which are very important, some aspect, what is called benevolence, trust, in which, uh, for instance, the truster here wants to know that provider, the provider is benevolent, would not cheat, would not say that we'll send this thing and would send something of a lower quality. And integrity means that Integrity is related, but it's different in some aspects. It means that uh, it obeys some ethical and some rules, some ethical principles and some rules. So all those are the components of the, that are influencing the, the transaction, even before the internet takes uh, appears in the in the equation. So let's briefly, because we did, it took us a lot of time to do this. Let's speak about the trust in general, the, the basic part of the diagram. This is taken from the World uh, Value Survey. It's uh, done by uh, an NGO and international organizations. And it, this measures the general level of trust. And you see the percentage of respondents in each country saying that I agree with this statement. Most people can be trusted. 